Hey, everybody. We are live at Pay Studios right now with Gangsta Grass, guys. Thank you for being here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, it's it great to up. see you guys again. We uh, hosted you downstairs at the log cabin the first time. Now we're here in the tape library, so uh, stoked to have you back. Thanks for doing it twice. For sure. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to you because Pocket Full of Fire is out in the world right now. It's a live album that you took from from six different uh, recent live live performances, and uh, that is it's it exists. So well done on that. And, and we'll uh, climbing up the Billboard Bluegrass charts, right? That's now. right. Here at, at number eight six. last time. Six. I was, number six. six last yeah. we checked, but who knows where it is? Now. Nice. Well, we it's going in the right direction. It was let eight last time I looked. So yeah, uh, yeah. progress, man. Good. 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 Um, can you tell us, you guys are going to share three songs with us today. I think one of them is off the live record and two not. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. I, well, I don't no, know. We'll no, see. No one knows. You'll have to buy the album to find <laughs> out. We're well done. All, I can't tell you anything. All new additional content today. Yep. We yep. would love to hear a song. Uh, what is, what's going to, what's coming up first? Let's kick it off with I Go Hard. All so right. Oldie but goodie. Yep. Mm-hmm. Your cash ain't gonna help you if you ain't quick on the trigger. Your name is big, but my pull is bigger. I go hard. Takes music, they try to. I go hard. Come on. When the chips are down. When the chips are down. Don't see me coming. Don't see them by the time you turn around. We'll fill it in your physical Rock the microphone till the cows come home Have to surgically remove the rhyme scheme from your zone Subliminal message is forcing your head to start nodding Rock flows, get rows and rows, heart throbbing Leave the mic smoking, don't you see those clouds? We move crowds and one flow shows that we know how Serving lessons till they handing out diplomas at procession MCs get snatched out of their skin for just testing Lyrical labyrinth, metaphysical maze Might as well shave your head, you get lyrically hazed We in the let of the brave, steady holding it down I hit the mic like I like it I pass it around. Come Go. on. Cash ain't gonna help you. Ain't quick on the trigger. Ah. Your name is big, but my pull is bigger. I go hard. I go. I go. I go.
the chips are down, you won't see him. Right, thank you. That sounds great. Um, can you tell us a little bit? So I know this story, but for everyone who's watching out there who doesn't know, can you talk a little bit about the inception of this band? What uh, what uh, brought you together in the first place, and and um, drove you you guys all to uh, to put two seemingly disparate styles of music together to create this? Yes. Well, if you want to go back to the beginning, about fourteen and a half billion years ago, there was a singularity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut forward a little bit. And uh, I'm in third grade, and uh, <laughs> all my friends are listening to hip-hop because it's the 80s, so Recess is about putting down cardboard to do your backspins to the Beat Street soundtrack. Where'd you and grow up? I was in California, Santa Barbara, L.A., Oh, nice. Southern California, so uh, we were all listening to, to that stuff coming out, Run DMC, all of that was really big for me as a kid and all my friends, but my dad's from Oklahoma, so when I got home, the stereo was all George Jones and Willie Nelson and Johnny Cash. And that kind of stuff. And that's just the influences that I grew up with. I started producing music, making beats for MCs, and I always had urges to be like, it would be really cool to put a banjo or a fiddle on this, which would never fly during the sessions I was doing. So I had to, to try it out for myself. And so what is, I mean, what do you see as the, the through lines that maybe make, make the two different, make bluegrass and hip hop more similar than is readily apparent to uh, just right on the surface? Well, if you look at where the musics themselves come from, both yeah. are very much musics of people that may not have had a whole lot when they created it. So, you know, you had hip hop cats, just a bunch of dudes would just be there out rhyming on the corner together, you know, in a cipher. And then, you know, however many hundreds of miles away, thousands of miles away, these cats on the porch somewhere, just everybody's got their banjo out or their fiddle, and they're 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 they're, in the, they're doing a pick, and people are just passing it back and forth, and it was this you know, the same concept of just building a music from yeah, all right, maybe we don't have pianos, or maybe we don't have you know whole giant systems that we can work with, but we can still create, we can still build, and you know just coming from that that very just sort of interpersonal connections with people to be able to 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 create something like that even though it happened in different places with different types of people, it was the same sort of creation. So, it comes you know, from folks. it all, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, we actually just started a new, a new hashtag, hip hop music is folk music, because it just came from the folks, you know what I mean? Whether they were in the hood or in the holler, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Well, I enjoy it thoroughly. Thank you for bringing it here today. There's actually, there's some history in this room. This uh, KRS One used to work in this room before we took it over. Wow, and, yeah, this was, yeah. <laughs> what? Yep, yep, yep. Holy so crap. there's some He's some history here, and then all and the, the folk history also. I mean, there's Ralph, right? Ralph Stanley. There's you know there's all this stuff on the wall surrounding us as well. So I feel like this is Wait, a totally. Wait, what are you doing here? Yeah. Um, you know, I need to know more about it before I recklessly say that on the internet in nope. the in the future. So <laughs> yeah, I don't nope. know, but that he was here is fact. That's a great room. Just just to your left there, you got. Some Loretta Lynn right next to your Charlie Pride, uh, Icky some Pops Charlie in Daniels there, there. yeah, Santana's some Blondie, yeah. There's yeah, there. we saw there's some, we saw some uh, Curtis Blow and Bismarck in there. Yeah, Curtis Blow and the yeah. Fat Boys in there. There's all kinds you, of stuff. You in got here, some man. great traditionalists here as well as a ton of people who who were really, you know, pushing boundaries in, in all sorts of their own ways, which uh, which we're all about. And I feel like, you know, as much as what we're doing is new in some ways, we really like to feel like we're part Bill of Collins. a tradition of just he a went, lot of people yeah. you know that's what the tradition is you know uh like what is folk music what is bluegrass uh you know a lot of that stuff is just about uh bill monroe saying you know i like this old time music but i'm gonna combine it with blues and rock guitar i'm gonna play this chuck berry lick on my mandolin yeah you know? mm -hmm. um so yeah. you want to talk about your your traditional bluegrass it, it doesn't get any more traditional than combining it with everything you were hearing on the radio Right, right. Yeah. Well, we've got to go. Always, music always mixes together. The musicians are constantly combining and, and reimagining the boundaries of music. And right in here, uh, all of you people out there on internet land, you might think that these are just like props, but this is this is for real. We're surrounded by all these amazing uh, reels of reel-to-reel -reel tape 
Uh, yeah, we're sort of enveloped bananas, by bananas, amazing bananas. musicians that have I been know, recorded here. I'm not supposed to do that. So <laughs> got the heads Dude, up you there. can. In a lot of cases, there's some uh, interesting Will engineer Will notes and, Miller, and track uh, listings. Rod Stewart. So, yeah. Uh, Steve, what was Heat the Wave. The Who. I think the, uh, the King Biscuit Flower Hour stuff hey. doesn't have a ton of engineer so, notes. But see, man, there might hey, be something there. Take a look. <laughs> oh, boy. Grandpa Dan. What'd you find? What'd you find? Prince and the Revolution. What? Half-track stereo. Yes. All right, so oh, open it up Jesus. and you find a single oh, reel oh, that you'd put on a, what's okay. called a, a tape <laughs> player. And it's a reel-to-reel, so you set up an empty one and you string it up and it's like one of them little cassette doodads. And, but this is, this is the cassette's granddad. As well, yeah. doesn't, doesn't smell like vinegar yet, it's still in, in good condition. Can you hear Prince? Uh, yeah. Smell like Prince? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the good stuff. I can smell the smell, purple. Smell yeah, purple. Right. Yeah. Smell very purple. Yeah. So, now that we feel highly inadequate, back, yeah, to, yeah. back to us. But uh, shout out to the Paste Archives, because these oh, are yeah. serious. Yeah. Right? For real, for real. Yeah, dude, yeah. well, dude, thank you for that dive into it. I think yeah. that is that is the most words that have been said about what's here. So uh, stoked that people know. A lot of yeah. people think that there's books behind people, and uh, no, that is no, not what it is. No, there's really, yeah, really. rock we're history going back to 1953. And just, we're going to hook that up and play yeah, Prince right. for the remainder of our time. I yield my time. Yes. But yeah, we'd love to to keep it moving into the second song. Is is the second one uh, off of you know what I, I'm not going to ask that question because we no, don't know nope. um, what we're is just, what is the second just, song we're coming we're giving out? people unique stuff here unique content you want to hear more you can hear completely other stuff on the live album that keeps it going but yep. this is uh this is pretty pretty close to our uh, our live lineup. If you're going to come see us on some of our dates, we'll talk about that in a minute. This one's called "Nobody Gonna Miss Me When I'm Gone." Ready? Attacking and conquering the Romulans Demolishing the empire Slave policy abolishing Coming back to earth to find my people And lead them to freedom Thundered in when they were wondering Where's our son when we need him To sum I'm just a legend That they don't even believe in The truth has no my knees When I speak in my voice of reason I'm rambling No place to call my Nowhere to live, not a thing to eat I had to lean on the shield for a place to sleep My ten toes on the pavement, stayed in the streets I couldn't even show my face to disgrace my peeps All I needed was a haven, a place to keep Myself safe from these faithless creeps who played for keeps They thought I was the range from the crazy speech That's when I laid out the haze and it made me weak It made a brother go insane how my brain was sweet See I was going through a phase Running through this maze, grabbed the knife by the blade Cause the pain was deep cut Got caught in the game just trying to keep up From rags to riches, back to life on the streets A few setbacks and glitches, now I'm trying to eat I got to get back to business cause I'm dying to see Just a glimpse of what this life can be Without boundaries, rambling No place to call my home
See, what they don't know about those tape boxes is when you open it, a little bit of Prince's ghost comes out of the box. <laughs> yep. That was, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Man, that, that was, was fun, dude. Thank you for, for coming and doing this. And uh, hopefully hopefully we see you again in, what was it, last year we did it? Hopefully every every year we do this. And uh, we'll every see you year, in the, we've got on. one like more that. studio that you guys like haven't that. seen yet. So we'll do oh, yeah. it in the TV Wait, there's production. another one? Yeah, man. There's a giant, there's uh, where Al Jazeera North America used to be uh-huh. is now a studio that we got access to. It's a giant TV production studio downstairs. Uh, that shouldn't be hard because I think we live here now. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just going to put tapes on my yeah, bed is over getting, here at the prince you keep getting new studios we'll keep playing in them yeah we've got we're uh, four and counting right now we might use that giant ballroom at some point you got yeah. that yeah. huge haunted yeah. ballroom yeah. next door um so a lot of a lot of people probably know you from that the placement in justify that song uh, hard times to come was the uh the theme songs justified on fx um can we that doesn't segue to anywhere man the question that i actually <laughs> wanted to ask was so when people come to see you live you're at hard rock cafe boston tomorrow yeah. there's a ton of dates announced all the way through july um they're all up at gangstagrass.com what do people see in the live show i mean is it relatively similar to what you guys are doing here at the session today is it uh, what what is the live show like um, there's a lot of this plus we bring the party. Yeah, depending yeah. on the space, there's uh capes, um, <laughs> nice. and just yep. lots of dancing and lunacy and madness and the occasional joke. Moves. Yeah, you, are, you come to a gangsta grass show, you're gonna get sweaty. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. there are so, choreographed dance moves. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna. Who we are is this. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the five of us. But what we do is entirely up to you and your input. Really, I mean. The amount that our show can vary night to night purely based on the energy of the crowd, just like who is there, what they come prepared to do, Mm -hmm. uh, is it's night and day. It absolutely, I mean, literally, sometimes it's in the middle of the day. We were we just at Lancaster at 2.30 p.m. That was one of the best crowds I've seen in a while. It It was a club full of maniacs. Yeah, it was really dope. They came to party. So y'all were were fantastic if you're watching. Three, three, (laughs) three, three, three. four, Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, it was all kinds of folks. Yeah, so you never know. It's, It's totally dependent on just the crowd comes out. You know, and we just we take whatever they can give us. If you're gonna see a live show, right which back. you're probably gonna do now, you, you better bring it and be prepared, yeah. and, and yeah. make sure you stretch. Yeah. And so, a related, I guess, a related question is, what do uh, why why did you choose those the six shows that you chose in order to put on the the album Pocket Full of Fire, which just came out? Um, what was it about those six that that made them the the obvious choices for the record? It was just listening through it for for uh, times we felt like we we did uh, we did the right energy for it and, and captured the way we hear it happening on stage the right way. And I want to give yeah. a shout out to Landry, who's who's on the album. I'm, I'm a recent addition, but Landry was playing the, the dobro, and it, it's killer. It's killer. Mm. It's great to listen yeah, to. Yeah, baby. So it's what's up. Yeah. I think it's, it's definitely a function of those audiences, too. Like, those were some of the best. Those are venues, by and large, I think most or all those venues were places that we've played, like, a couple times I don't know, five, six, seven yeah. times over and over again, the same venue in the same town. And so you get to see, you know, a real development. Like, it's it's great to see the crowd build. The same people come back, uh, bring friends, bring new energy in. Um, so that was, I think it was partially also a tribute to those places and those crowds. Nice. We really appreciate that. Well, hopefully everyone who's watching right now, we've got a good crowd on uh, on Facebook right now. Hopefully everyone who is watching this live stream either has seen this show or is able to come out and check out a show. It's all up at gangstagrass.com, and uh, there's almost almost nothing that is not improved by a cape. There will be capes. Yeah. Yeah. So, there will be capes. No capes uh, today. No, no capes. No. no, you have to come to the show for capes. Uh, can you guys tell us about the third song you're going to play today? Yeah, uh, this is a song I wrote. It's called uh, Nickel and Dime Blues. It's and not on anything yet, so it's nope. not, you're going to be hearing it. Yeah. Is this a premiere right here right this now? This is it. Uh, yeah. Sure. We've been, playing it. <laughs> we've been playing it live, but I don't know if we've ever yeah, recorded, we recorded this, yeah. a version of yeah, it. Yeah, this does not so exist. So I'm going to do anywhere. it right and right. not make mistakes, um, which <laughs> is totally, it's totally not how we decided you. Which, which recordings to use was the ones where we didn't make mistakes. Um, yeah, it's a song about not having any money, um, which I think is one of those things that sort of brings us all together between... Uh, bluegrass people and hip hop people. So that's and, uh, and all kinds of people, people. <laughs> and all kinds of people. You name it. Maybe you. You name it. Maybe you. Every every city that we go or and play, you. there's broke people there. Yeah. So that tells you something. Yep. <clears throat> Want to do it? Ready? Let's do it. <sighs> One, two, three. Oh. Told me there's a cure for all my ills Well, I worked 
Hey there, how you doing? Ask the folks. I tell them all the same thing. Old black and broke, and they think that's a joke, but I ain't playing. It's a whole lot of truth to what I'm saying. See, my bones crack, but I'm so pro black, and I got so many bills, and they ain't no sacks. Hey there, Cole Jack, sucking on your lollipop. Think I can get a ride over to the trolley stop? Just left one job, I gotta get the next one. Got things to do when I'm trying to get these checks, son. See, I'm just trying to stay out of court, so I can just pay all this child support. The feds is coming after me to pay my taxes. They come out my house with swords and ashes like we need that dough we taking all of your cash so i gotta get back to work do that in the flash when i went out to the bodega just to get a little mountain dew when i opened up my wallet there was nothing but i owe you when i told my situation i asked him what do you got for me he said i got this knuckle sandwich and i'll give it to you for free Rockin' mic since before there was a fed book The left hook, the reason why your man got his head shook From the PJs with the slippy, get your bread took Concrete floors made it chilly when the sun down Somehow we all made it out from the rundown Papa Pamper get it, getting played for a dub clown Took the less travel road, standing out amongst crowds Old head with the fire of a jit Mole heads, you can tell they a liar when they spit Ball heads the one plank with the lion in his kiss All said it's really nothing if you prime with the fifth, huh? I'm cooking cast iron in the pit Your bread ain't really thick if all you buying is a fit I cut it up in sections then I fry them till they crisp Season it a little more than required for the fix I could not pay my ticket And I could not pay my bail Well the judge couldn't pay me the time of day And he threw my ass in jail Well they gave me a nickel and a dime And they placed them upon my eyes For it cost much more to keep me here Than it did to let me die <laughs> all right, man. Thank all of you guys for coming through and doing this. Um, it Thank sounds you. great. This is a ton of fun. And so anytime you're in town and it makes sense for you guys, we'll be here doing this and we'll uh, maybe yeah, reconvene anytime. at the uh, old Al Jazeera space next time. And so we'll see, yeah. you, see you in a couple of months from now. Since and, I never uh, thought I'd hear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, and best of luck on the, the on the album. Studio. It was eight, eight, number eight on number the. Six. It number what six was now. number eight? Number now is number six. Yeah. Yeah. Number Going six. the right direction. So, uh, so best of yeah, luck yeah, on if you Pocket like what Full you of just Fire. Heard, get on over to Spotify and start streaming Gangsta Grass, new album, and uh, yeah. keep it climbing up the charts. Get on the website, buy the album too. Come to a show. Mm-hmm. All right. All of it. Yeah, <laughs> guys, travel safely. You got a, there's a lot of shows. They're all up at GangstaGrass.com. So travel safely. And thanks again for coming and doing this. No doubt. All right, man. See you out there, folks. Peace.